Hello and welcome to this video where I will unbox the um, One Ring from uh, the Free League. It arrived in the post recently and uh, in this package I have the following. Um, the printed book, the One Ring Core Rule Set Standard Edition. I have the Table of Parlor Games, the One Ring Lore Master Screen. And we also have the One Ring Starter Set in here. So, let's check it out. Here we have the Starter Set. And on the back side, it con says it contains a 24-page volume of condensed rules, 52-page of compendium covering four farthings of the Shire, a 32-page volume containing five exciting adventures to play, eight double-sided pre-generated character sheets, a huge full colored double-sided map showing the Shire and area door, 30 war gear cards for weapons and armors, six double-sided journey roll and combat stance cards, and two D12 uh, feet dice, uh, six D6 rules. All right. And the next here, we have what I suppose is the lore master screen. Yep, let's check it out later. And last but not least, the One Ring, the core rule set book. Okay, so let's open them one after the other. Let's start with the starter set. Really sturdy box here. What we see here are tables, but can probably also be used as a lower master screen, a small one at least. Whoops. They've been opened a little bit. Just to check. We have cards for armor and gear. We have the dice. Let's check them out together later. Let's check out all the cards. And here we have these um, I guess it's some kind of help sheet. Guide, scout, lookout, and hunter, it says. And what their role is. We also have close combat, ranged combat, open, no advantage or disadvantage. Well, there are six of these. Let's check those these cards. These cards have on their on their backside they have names of what it is inside or on the other side. And on the back side there are explanations and stats. Well, they're in nice quality, some kind of protective coating on them. And then we have the dice. 
two 12-sided dice with an I for uh, number one, right? And this symbol here for the number 12. We have six dice. The D6 dice, the success dice. Nice design. Then we have the map, the full color map. And it's huge. And very nice quality. As you can see, we have some drawings up here from Eriador. This is the map of Eriador. Really beautiful. The paper quality is really thick. It's quite sturdy. Um, nice to uh, be able to fold and unfold many times, I guess, without wearing it out. And on the other side, we have the Shire. Here's the Shire. Green and beautiful. I must say they have really, really nailed it with a paper quality and the paper, the paper, uh, the paper surface. It's a matte surface. It feels really genuine. And then I guess we have the pre-generated characters here. Let's check them out. Bilbo Baggins. They're two-sided. On one of the sides, it's the character sheet. And on the other side, we have some flavor text and background material for the character. So here's Bilbo Baggins. We have Balin. Son of Fundin. Rory Mac Brandybuck. We have Primula, 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 Brandybuck. Paladin took two. I don't think it's 11, but two. I really love these drawings, these pencil drawings. It's just my kind of type of role-playing uh, um, feeling. I get the genuine old feeling from the 80s, 90s, when I just started playing uh, with these. Then, then everything, almost everything at least, was, was, was illustrated with pencil drawings. They're so beautiful, give so much life to it. Lobelia Brace Girdle. Esmeralda took. And Drogo Baggins. Nice. And then, let's see here. Next, we have the, the One Ring, the Shire. It's probably a background world book to get the feel and get the knowledge of how the Shire works and what what's in the world. A couple of uh, tables, monsters that I guess live in the Shire, and some of the beautiful illustrations from Martin Griep. It's um, it's a uh, glued. Uh, it's it's not a hard back. It's a soft back. And the next one here, it's uh, stapled. And we here we have the one ring rules. It's a um, compressed rule book for starting out playing. 
very good idea. 24 pages. Good thing to get you going quite fast. And then we have the adventures. Now, shut your eyes if you're going to play. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, it, this contains five adventures to start off. And here in the cover bottom, we have another map of the Shire, smaller map. And this is really, I really like this, this, uh, to put this, this big map in this small size, because the big map, it's very difficult to, to unfold on a big table. Every time you're playing, maybe you're not having a big table enough to, to be able to unfold it, then you don't have any map. So I would, I would love to see this, um, the area door map in a, in a cover like this. But now in the other cover, we have this. So I guess you have to compromise. That was the starter set. Let's go on with the um, lore master screen. Here it says the one ring lore master screen and Rivendell compendium. So we get another world uh, description world book called the Rivendell. It's the same quality, it's stapled, but it's only 12 pages. And the layout is the same as the other. Story, backstory, characters, NPCs from the Rivendell. Yes. And then we have the screen which is very thick. It's almost, yeah, it's probably just as thick as the book here. It's really sturdy, it's heavy too. And here we have all the tables you probably need for playing the full version of the One Ring role-playing game. Yeah, it's nice. On the back side, it's also, very nicely illustrated. So you players, when you play it, you get the feel of a real battle here. Also Martin Grieb illustrations. Awesome. Last but not least, we have the one ring, the, um, the core book. And on the uh, inside of the cover, we have the area door map. Do we have the um, Shire map on the inside here? Nope, we do not. But this is uh, seems like a tactical map or a travel map where you travel hexagons. I'm just guessing here, but uh, I think that's what it is for. So you can you can count how many how many steps you travel each day and so on. Let's begin from the beginning. But this is a really nice addition, I think, to uh, to the starter set bottom of the Shire map. This is more or less the same size, or at least it's an area door map that is um, that is a little bit smaller than the big uh, folded map. So introduction. Well, I've seen this in um, in. Um, free league books before. I don't really like this, this layout of, of a uh, table of contents. I think these, 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 um, images up here, they they are, they're not at all, not as nicely laid out as the rest of the book. It's something with this page. I don't like, but that's my opinion. Rest of the book. Let's see. So every, every chapter, they start off with a um, Martin Greep illustration. And they are very similar to um, Alien, which I have played, and, and several others of, of the, uh, almost all of the others of the Free League games right now. He's, make, he's really talented, I mean, and uh, he's making the illustrations for everything. It seems. 
So let's see the table of contents here. First, we have the prologue, then we have action resolution, adventures, characteristics, valor and wisdom, adventuring phases, fellowship phases, and the lore master, the world, and the appendix. So let's see what we can find here. I'm not paging through all of the book, but let's just check out, get a feel for what it looks like at least. So here again, every the only place where you have these uh, Martin Grip illustrations is in the chapter starts. And then the rest of the book are these beautiful drawings. I'm really in love with this kind of uh, role-playing game books. And there's so many, and there's so much detailed stuff here, and the frames of everything. It gives a really genuine feel of the Lord of the Rings, I, I think. But I should be honest, I haven't played the first Lord of the Rings either. I, I would love to play this, uh, this version. So if anyone's playing and you miss a player, give me a call or write in the comments and I'll, I'll gladly join you. Look at these. Oh, it's really nice. Well, and in the back we have an index, really dense index of everything in the book. And we also have a empty character sheet, which I suppose you can download from a free league homepage as well. And here on the back side, we have like a journal, journey log, a journey path. And events. Well, that was it in this box. I must say, as a short summary, really nice quality. I I would really love to play this game as a player. Um, I don't think I can be the 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 game master or the lore master of it, but I would really love to play it someday. And really gives you know. Uh, a genuine feeling and everything in this package is so well tied together the rule books from uh, the rule book and the world books from the starter set and also the the rivendell compendium really nice so yeah i hope you like this video see you next time bye